welcome to Makers with Heart June. How do you add color to your layout? And also the best of 30 days of sketches, Christie's Beautiful Life. So I was thinking about it and I was looking back at some of my projects and I'll tell you, I add color through paper and some ink. I don't do a lot of marker coloring. I don't do a lot of paint or um, mixed media. I do some, but not a lot. A lot of it is through stamping with the inks. Also, I want to put a plug in here. Come back on June 25th for the Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope because we all reveal what we do with the same papers. So what I'm doing is I am taking the fresh paint paper because as I've already established, I add color through paper and ink. <laughs> and that inking can be like direct to the paper. It can be um, through stamps. But most of the time it's through paper and I love my Cricut and I I love cutting up paper and modifying the images to make them my own. So today's layout, I'm taking this paper from the Fresh Paint and then I didn't mention that today's sketch was designed by Laura Rumble for the love of pretty paper. And I don't know which um, season it came out for the sketches for Christie's Beautiful Life. So what I'm doing is I cut a 10 by 10 square out of this fresh paint paper. And then if you know, a 10 by 10 square cut on the diagonal will not fit into a standard size paper cutter. But I found that I actually like the um, torn edges of the paper. So I basically make your square, fold it into a, um, fold along the diagonal so that you now have a triangle and then you can fold that triangle into one, two, three, four pieces and those become the rays of your sunshine. And it doesn't have to be the same. You don't have to measure, you don't have to think about it. You just can kind of fuss or sorry, you can just kind of tear them and you can put these through the paper cutter. They would cut fine. But like I said, I really like that torn edge look. So you can see the sketch and I'm just going to take the pieces that I've cut and kind of dry fit them on my layout. And if you haven't caught the other makers with heart and how they add color to their layouts, be sure to go into my description under the video and check out their videos. We started on Friday with Jessica. Kim was yesterday and I'm today. So you can see what we're all up to with this. So I'm kind of getting the feel here and I um, am going to grab some photos. This is the cake that I got when I graduated from high school. And then I'm kind of looking at this thinking that I want to double up the pattern paper. And off screen, I went ahead and did the same tearing with a 10 by 10 square and then doing the diagonal and all of that. So I'm going to use this black um, base paper and it's all from the fresh paint collection kind of as an offset for my bright color pattern and I'm missing one piece so I'm just going to use this other triangle that's there and like I said you can um, figure out how you want to rip it and it's there's no right or wrong way so now what I'm doing is I've just tacked these together with adhesive tape and I'm going to mark the edges because one of the other ways that I add color to my layouts or to any of my projects, cards, mini books, anything, is with our ink. And so through the stencils, I'm gonna grab my mini blender tool. And this is the stencil from the bundle in the core catalog, bundle one for scrapbooking. And then I showed you the inks that I was using, basically the primary colors that work with fresh paint. So I'm going to start with red and I had to decide where along the sun I wanted to start with red, but I'm just going to start on kind of the 830 hour on my clock. And then I just do the rainbow all the way around back to the beginning again. And I'll clean up my stencil off camera and then I've gone ahead and glued down the black base paste pieces and the bright colored pieces from first paint. I'm going to trim off the edges that are over the sides on the base page. And then um, one thing that I didn't talk about, and I don't know where the footage went, sorry, is that I used the center, the small doily from the Hope and Kindness collection. Um, it's a constant campaign that's good through the end of June. And it has a five and three quarter inch 
doily and then this little one and this little one can sit inside of the bigger one so I just thought that that was just a way to kind of soften the edges if you've watched my channel at all, you know me and my daisies. And I have some daisies that were just on the table here where I'm crafting. We're moving across the country from California to Florida. And so um, I had these daisies and one evening when I was just stressed, I just went ahead and put together a whole bunch of them, put together the butterflies because I send out some pieces parts to my VIPs as a thank you for their orders and so the extras I went ahead and just put together for my own use and that's where the butterfly and the leaves and all come from. I went back into my stash and these are glitter gems so they don't have the facets on them they're just a rounded shape but they're full of glitter and they work perfectly with this layout. So how do you add color? I It was funny when I first thought about it when we were talking about this um, challenge or this focus for makers with heart I was thinking oh markers and paints and colored pencils and you know shimmer brushes I love to color with shimmer brushes well then I realized I really don't I'm I'm more of the get it done and paper and the ink make the most impact Here's how you can catch up with me on social media, but do be sure to go and check out all the other Makers with Hearts videos. We start on the 10th of every month and go till the 17th, and then you gotta come back on the 25th because that's when we all reveal what we've done with the mystery envelope. And this month, I think Julie Scott sent it. Yes, she did.